Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Google Play Store on Windows 11 using the Windows subsystem for Android. In this video, I'm going to show you an easier method, a way easier method than the last that I showed you in the previous video. A lot of you guys commented on that video about the process being too complex or too hard to comprehend. So in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest method for now that you can use in order to install the Google Play Store apps with the WSA in Windows 11. For this, we have to give a huge shout out to LS Post from GitHub. He created a repository with all the needed packages and all the needed changes already done to the Windows subsystem for Android files in order for you to only install the Windows subsystem for Android with the Google Play Store integrated. So let me show you how to do this. It's going to be a very, very easy process. First of all, you're going to need to have a GitHub account. So after you have a GitHub account, it is really easy to create. Log in into your account, go into this link to this repository that you're going to have in the article down below in the description, and then click on fork. All you have to do is click on fork. And basically this GitHub repository will be created in your account. You'll basically have a copy of this repository on your account. As you can see, this is my copy of that repository. Now, after you've done this, go into the actions tab, go in the left side and click on Majisk, and then click on run workflow as the branch, leave it as main, and also make sure to select the variant of Google apps. So for example, I've tested the Pico variant, you can test any other variant that you want. After you write here the variant of G apps that you want, click on run workflow. And this process should take up to three, five minutes, something like that. I've done this process a few times and it didn't take much longer than five minutes, for example. One thing that I forgot to mention, this uh, package will also come up with the Majisk APK. For those of you who don't know, Majisk is basically a routing system that can be really useful. You can find more info by searching their official webpage on Google. But in this video, we're just gonna focus on the Google Play Store and how to set it up really easily. After the process is finished, you should see this green check mark. It took four minutes and 55 seconds. Click on Majisk, then scroll down to this artifacts section and then download the X64 or the ARM64, depending on your Windows version. I'm gonna download the X64. As you can see, it has 1.8 gigabytes. Wait for this archive to be downloaded. And meanwhile, we're gonna have to enable the developer mode on Windows 11. Of course, this is a requirement. Just go and click on the settings app, type in here, developer, click on developer settings, and then make sure you have developer mode enabled and then click on yes. Of course, you also have some other requirements like enabling virtualization on your processor, enabling Hyper-V and setting your region to US. But those requirements I showed you how to change or how to do in the last video that I've made about the Windows subsystem for Android. So go ahead and check that out if you didn't do that yet. We're just gonna wait for this archive to be downloaded and then we're gonna continue with the process. Now the archive is downloaded. Let's go into the location where it was downloaded. I'm just gonna drag and drop it to my desktop and then right click, show more options, extract to, to extract it in a folder. Now let's go into this folder and here we have all the packages needed and all the modifications already done in order for us to install the Windows system for Android with the Google Play Store included. So now all you have to do is to right click on this install file, which is a PowerShell script, right click on it and then click on run with PowerShell. Wait for a few seconds. It's going to deploy some packages and some stuff. If you receive this message, just press A and then enter to basically tell Windows that you will agree with all the modifications and all the installations that are going to take place. And as you can see, the installation process was really, really fast. Now let's open the Windows subsystem for Android. You should have it if everything went well. Open the Windows subsystem for Android, enable the developer mode, click on manage developer settings, uncheck share my diagnostic data, and then click on continue. With the Windows firewall, click on allow access. After the Windows subsystem for Android opened up, you can close it out and of course, if you enable the IP address, you can use this IP address to install APKs with ADB. But we are not interested in that right now. Now let's just minimize this and open up the Play Store because we already have it installed. As I've said, it came 
with the Windows subsystem for Android. We can open it up. It's going to update some Google apps and we can already sign into it. We no longer have to do any other changes or modifications. Click on sign in and you will be able to sign in into your account. And as you can see now, we have the Play Store up and running. We can install any app that we want. I'm not going to install any other apps in this video, but this is the easy method of installing the Google Play Store in Windows 11 with the Windows system for Android. Don't forget that all the links and other info will be in the article down below in the description. I'm hoping you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If it was useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.